Good morning, everybody. Today we are here at the Superfood. I'm joined today this morning by Marlene, Good and we're morning. going to check out the Superfood Supercenter, the supermarket here. That's the most popular supermarket on the island, especially for the tourists. Let's start our walk of today. So the complex is situated at Palm Beach and it apart from being a supermarket they have some stores on the outside let me wait here for the large door but we can see the opening times among other things they are usually open till 8 p.m and also on sundays just in case you are wondering and here on our left, they have, you know, like a cosmetic store, which we can see here on our left. And also upstairs, they have like a home store with the customer service desk is here. Just anything you would need. And also a coffee place on this side. Now, I've been meaning to do this walk for quite a long time and uh, I'm pretty excited to show you this one. Uh, they also have the Jack's Cafe, which I will show you briefly. A favorite, not just of the tourists, but also of the visitors, especially in the morning. It's very popular. We have many, many of the cashiers also. We are doing this walk in the morning, so you might notice it's a little bit less crowded, but uh, this one does get quite crowded. Usually people love the superfood. And this one is the Cheers Wine and Liquors. So here you would be getting your liquors from its separate and those interested in cigars. There's also that. Now, in general, it's pretty much a fairly straight up supermarket, but it does have its own bakery. And I love the croissant here. They have fresh products every morning. Lots and lots of bakery goods. Also, the handmade stroopwafels from Holland. So, the stroopwafels are very, very popular in Holland. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marlene will be helping me because the superfood is uh, like, it's definitely Dutch influenced. A lot of Dutch products are here and many of the Dutch uh, citizens here uh, love shopping here because of those same reasons. Oh, let's take a look at the cakes, which is everybody's favorite usually. Show you an assortment of the quesillo, which is my personal favorite, the tres leche, which is this one. If you are here, you gotta, you gotta try those. And the noise you hear in the background is the bread cutting machine. Wow, look at these cakes. And I'll show you in a bit. But the prices are mainly in Florence. But what I do love here is that they also have, I'll show you in a bit. So like, for example, if you are going to buy Gatorade, well, that's not the price of the Gatorade, but if you're going to buy the Gatorade, so you have the AFL or AWG is in Florence and they do have the do US dollars price. So more or less, you will know what it is. In this case, it's 685. It's written a little bit smaller, but definitely very, very practical to have that. And we'll take a full walk 
through the supermarket and check out some products. Uh, I would like to to ask uh, Marlene if uh, if she any products that are like very common, perhaps in the Netherlands. Perhaps you can she can uh, point them out for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, like <laughs> I drink a lot of milk or I use a lot of milk. And for example, this one is. The Jumbo is very popular in Holland. This is popular. Oh, the Jumbo, of course. Jumbo, yes. Yeah. Jumbo. Yes. It's a big uh, shop. And I love the, <laughs> the syrup. Yeah, she likes the syrup. Especially for the kids because they drink it at home. So when I came to Aruba, it, I was very happy to see this. Yeah. Is, is, the, is that... Um, like, do they uh, drink it a lot in, in Europe, or is it just your family? Uh, no, I think they drink it a lot. Yes. They drink it a lot. Yeah. Let's go around on this side. So over here, there are a lot of, uh, I believe, there are a lot of like the, uh, you know, the gluten-free quinoa. A lot of. Uh, if you're looking for that, this is definitely one of those stores that uh, is very well stocked with so many products. <laughs> peanut butter. A large assortment of peanut butter. There's uh, sushi also. You can buy, like, if you know how to make sushi, you can buy all, all you need to, to make sushi. I see some sushi, organic even, sushi rice over on that side let me turn it around briefly and show you like the peanut butter and the one everybody's favorite the nutella mm -hmm. down there chocolate and in holland right oh. of course and oh, the this is, yeah i i used to to eat that a lot as as a as a kid and uh, i still do not as often anymore, but I still uh, I do uh, eat uh, uh, some chocolate. Oh, a lot of people eat, uh, uh, you know, like the uh, cereals. To give you an example of what's available here. Also very, yeah, a lot of choice. And I lately don't eat as much cereal as I used to. But if you're, especially if you're coming with your children, I think this is definitely important. And who doesn't drink coffee? Well, some folks don't, <laughs> but not too many, right? Almost everybody likes some coffee. We're trying to zigzag and just trying to stay away from, from so, some folks here, of course, uh, respecting the privacy as much as possible. But a lot of coffee uh, I'm looking for the one that is uh, the Aruba brand I think there are two I'm, I'm not seeing it here uh, I cannot see the Aruba one hmm but in either case uh, we'll, we'll continue and uh, and head on to this side and Oh, truffle, truffle, mayonnaise, a lot of uh, interesting goods. Let's see if we can uh, take a brief look here. Yeah. So let's continue on to this row and speed it up a little bit. So our Arubans are a lot into eating rice. Uh, maybe that might not be your thing, but uh, we're very much into eating rice. Lots and lots of, uh, you know, oil to chew from, olive oil certainly, and such. Pasta. So as you can see, uh, the store is very well stocked. You know, and uh, so you should have no issues finding the products that you are looking for. Perhaps you're staying, hi, <laughs> perhaps you're staying at an Airbnb or maybe at, even like at a hotel and 
you want to be uh, like cooking and uh, of course that's uh, you know saving you some bucks during your vacation of Aruba. One of my personal favorite sections is like uh, this one which is like the Asian products for example this one oh you gotta you gotta try it you gotta try it it's great this satay krupuk very popular also with uh, like the Indonesian cuisine here and are all of the brand names like Libis, Del Monte and such Green Giant, Campbell's Goya is very popular here and the condiments I feel like I'm turning around a lot but uh, obviously both sides a lot to, to show you guys and I hope you are enjoying this walk if you are give it a like Remember to subscribe, either now or at the end of the video, no problem with that. And uh, comment uh, below, you know, very popular, the huck. <laughs> yeah, we eat it a lot, so as you can see, that's, a, that's why there's a, such a large section of it. Uh, these are like uh, vegetables in a bottle, pretty much, and uh, some of my favorite are the beets. Rudebite. <laughs> yes, I, I definitely like those, uh, eating those with my, uh, with my lunch, usually. Oh, and how about these, uh, Marlene? Soup. <laughs> yeah, inox. <laughs> so, uh, for all the Dutch uh, folks, uh, if you love your soup, <laughs> now you know <laughs> there are no excuses anymore not to come to Aruba. <laughs> yeah. So many of them <laughs> to choose from. If we go over like the vegetarian tomato soup. So these are, I haven't eaten one from, from a bag. So are they it's just, cooked. you just um, heat it up, right? Yeah. It's ready. And it's super And they also have oh, the Hollands yeah. Earth soup. The Hollands Earth. On Aruba now. <laughs> that is very good. Yeah. I'm not kidding when I say not things are. It's cold. It's always cold. <laughs> Yeah, so n because not only we, when it's cold, yeah, of course. We, uh, we eat a lot of Ayrton soup here. Mm -hmm. And I uh, almost started talking in Dutch now. <laughs> <laughs> you got your beans also. Some folks like eating beans. We got, uh, oh, the, the uh, hot sauces, uh, especially from Aruba. I think we have another section on the other side. But if you are into eating the hot sauce this for example you can take them home like this one if that's hot sauce the light carton gift box yeah so this one would be like 15 42 in dollars so that's a pretty nice one or this one they also have more like the ginger so a lot of things to choose from let's Stay away from some folks here for a moment and yeah, let's briefly take a, a look over here. Some sweets, of course, everybody likes sweets, probably except me. <laughs> I'm not much into eating a whole lot of sweets. Uh, how much of a cake eater? Don't know why, but uh, I do love the Casillo and a large assortment of ham and there's so many choices here. so many choices yes <laughs> that's uh <laughs> that's definitely what i can see so this section is situated just before the cashiers and uh and uh, marlene already i <laughs> and marlene already uh, knows how how much i love my dutch cheese the Dutch selection of cheese, it's, uh, it's great. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at, what's the name? It's funny. I don't remember having seen it. 
That's good. Well, this would be interesting. Uh, we bought, the other day we bought a uh, truffle. Uh, we don't see it, but it's something like this. Like that one. So we bought a truffle and it was very interesting, very good. So let's see. So if you need like your cups and utensils, we are into now like no plastic cups, no plastic, um, how do you say it? No plastic uh, plates <laughs> and such. Uh, Aruba has been trying to like uh, move away from you know all of those uh, things oh uh, good uh, good uh, pointing out by Marlene uh, th this section if you're you know coming here with an infant with a baby or uh, you can come and definitely have you know so uh, you can have your products here milk, milk and uh, and other stuff I love it. and uh, like even these things in case yeah. you you, you know you forgot it yeah. at home or uh you know it, it dropped somewhere you can't find it they do have all of the this section also with the you know the pampers and and things like that huggies so that's a very important and I, I didn't fully show it but they do have a freezer with you know with ice cream with yogurt uh, Tropicana, uh, orange juice, among other things. Uh, so, so many other products. And uh, that's a pretty large assortment also. And I believe now we are getting to one of the most popular section, which is the uh, chips. And... No, it's not peanuts. It's beers of course <laughs> and <laughs> the one that's been getting more and more popular here is uh, also um, um, drank also a lot in Holland is the Leffe yeah. which is Belgium. very uh, Belgian beer correct we got the Corona here which is similar to the Amstel Bright the Amstel Bright is this one which is one of my favorite and uh, I heard the Presidente is also very good. Almost said goed. <laughs> goed is uh, um, good in uh, Dutch. So they have a large variety of beers. We'll continue. But just briefly, I wanted to show you also the water. It's available here. Some folks are into buying water. The water of Ruba is, you know, you can drink it with no problem and but in case you do want to buy separate water then um, yeah you can do that so many different beers Bavaria Stella Tua Special in Holland they have it on Aruba yes the they, yeah there's the oh that it's one Mala, too see I'm not a I'm not a I'm I always drink like the same beer, but I do like to occasionally try something new. But it's it's good to to have someone that knows which ones are good or popular at least. <laughs> On my right side, I do see a popcorn section, but uh, if we stay briefly here on the alcohol side, we do have a large uh, assortment of wine also. Yes, Th yes, it's, uh, let's see, let's see briefly, uh, I do see them starting from $8 or so, wow. even less, the smaller ones, yeah. you want to, you know, you're a single traveler, maybe you want to just not buy a whole bottle perhaps. And it's a little, this is uh, a famous in Holland, but it's a little bit more expensive on Aruba. Uh, yeah, usually they are, yes. A few um, dollars. Yeah, and one thing I wanted to show, but uh, briefly, there is uh, a client there briefly, but I wanted to show the, check out one of those uh, drop for, uh, for me. Uh, just the Vanco is, is fine, just to show it. Wonderful. 
So let's go on to this side. <laughs> so this one, uh, the, this brand, uh, so we say Kachus Drop, mm -hmm. which is pretty popular, uh, eaten a lot uh, in, uh, in Holland. Yes. And we love Drop. We love Drop, mm -hmm. I love Drop, but some folks hate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, do you remember the, I'm, I'm, I'm lost out of it right now, but do you remember the name for it in English? They, they do have a, a name for it. Oh, yeah, this one also. It is a it's a different kind of. <laughs> yeah. So, let's continue briefly. So, if you thought that the, the cheese side is what we showed you a, a moment ago, there are more cheese to choose from. Let's see, uh, like the Jumbo or Jumbo Belegen Kaas. Uh, just to give you an idea on the price. Uh, do you see the price in uh, dollars here? I think it's not in dollars, but more or less, this would be like around eight to nine dollars. And that this one will last you quite a bit, usually. Depends on uh, how much you eat, but uh, if you are slicing it and putting it on bread and things like that. So we'll start by speeding up a little bit because I do believe that we're taking a little bit too long on this side. Uh, we'll we'll get back to the we'll get back to the uh, the uh, vegetable selection. I don't. They do here have here on our right side. Anyone coming with pets? I doubt that. <laughs> on the vacation, I remember seeing that. But they do have um, a large selection for your pets also. This whole row was related to that. And on our left, of course, many of the house cleaning products, pine saw, Clorox, among other things. And over here... Make your own smoothie. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the Pico Bill is uh, uh, one of the popular ice creams here on the island. And uh, even though I don't like sweets, I do like ice cream. So I have a few exceptions here and there. And more house uh, cleaning uh, products here. Oh, and, and this is uh, interesting also, uh, if you're looking for like, you know, you want to do some snorkeling at Tres Trapi, among other things, you come here and uh, buy several of the, these things. Uh, also, the, the shoes uh, can be found here, some, um, how do you call it, some, uh, you know, <laughs> pen and things like that, uh, if you are balloons and let's see <laughs> so in case you forgot your toothpaste uh, they have that of course shampoo deodorant and for the ladies oh yeah <laughs> for these also let me take a like a brief stop here so you can uh, you know, freeze the, the video for a while if you're looking for a specific one. And also some books. If you're reading into reading books, you can buy one in here. You can learn Papimento. If you want to learn Papimento, <laughs> yes, this is one of those. And I also want to point out another one just uh, next to you. If you want to learn a little bit about the history of Aruba also, uh, this is a very, you know, very short book really, but uh, highly recommend it if you want to learn a little bit about the history. So let's turn and continue our walk so we can see some of the vegetables. Uh, I see some uh, sweet potatoes, ginger over on this side. 
love eating sweet potato and it's getting more and more popular, isn't it? Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. uh, on our right side, some car uh, products and pesticides, candles. Oh, you can, you can buy some candles and make a candlelight dinner at your Airbnb. Watch out with fire, of course, <laughs> but uh, that's a possibility. Yes, for the mosquitoes also, they have those yellow ones and glade. And I, uh, also this, like some folks buy uh, these things. I'm wondering, did you, uh, per perhaps they don't have, but a lot of folks uh, ask me for chairs and things like that for the beach. Not seeing that, but I do see some of the, like the portable jugs, smaller jugs that you can take. You want to do barbecue? Maybe that is a thing that you might want to do. And hope I'm not missing too much, but uh, this video in any case is for you to get a, an idea of what's available here. And uh, we are approaching now the meat section. Uh, let me show you. So I'll be walking slowly through the freezer and uh, maybe a few things will catch your attention. But in any case, the fish that's available here, you also have, again, things for the wakame salad, for making your sushi night, chicken. A lot of chicken is eaten on the island. And these, on this side, obviously it's the mostly like the most uh, fresh product that they have. You know, so these are pretty much ready to just fry. Oh, turkey garden blue. I haven't seen that one, turkey garden blue. Oh, in Holland it's, um, yeah. I, I've, I've of course eaten turkey before, but uh, I ate turkey like a few weeks ago and it was so good, I forgot how good it was. Let's uh, turn briefly, they are restocking most of the freezers this morning, of course, and uh, what I love about the, the superfood, it, it is very well organized, it's very well, it's very clean. Uh, so, so many products to choose from. If you prefer like the frozen vegetables, you can have them. And uh, probably have a freezer then at your Airbnb. And let's head now to the fruits and vegetables mostly. What are these in the middle? Are these avocados? Yes, I... Are they avocados? Yes. They look like, yeah. Ready to eat. <laughs> so let's... Oh, these... These look good. <laughs> these meat. These look very good. Oh, look at these. For grilling. Maybe we can barbecue Ma. tonight. <laughs> yeah. I see some uh, lamp super, rack. Super. Hmm. Oh, look at look at. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah, those are. Oh, and 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 of course, uh, I got to show this also that for the folks that are, you know, uh, either vegetarian or vegan, uh, of course they have all of the products, everything you need here. Uh, I know a lot of folks are into that right now. And uh, also fairly recently, they also have the fresh orange juice. So you can make your own orange juice uh, with this machine. Uh, this is a very popular uh, thing also yeah. with this machine. So you'll, you'll buy the amount that you are looking for. They have ready-made uh, fruit salads and uh, of course uh, 
fruits, fruits and vegetables are a very, you know, like a very popular and colorful part of the store. Tomatoes. And let's turn around on this side. Oh, blueberries is one of my personal favorites. I love eating blueberries, uh, especially lately. I've been uh, mixing them with so many other, uh, you know, things I eat at home with some cereal, not cereal, with some uh, the, the brinta, and so <laughs> the brinta, I, I put it in. Bananas, of course, uh, favorite pineapple. And on this side, more of the green products also. You know, the lettuce, spinach, and things like that. Let's see if they have concumber salad, concumber salad, concumber salad. They have the fruit salads in boxes. Uh, see if we can get uh, those one of those lower ones that's mixed, or this one, just to get uh, an idea of the prices. So this one in dollar, do you see the dollar price? Uh, no, right? But in Maybe. any case, it's uh, it's five eighty three would be like something like uh, three twenty five dollars, mm -hmm. three fifty in dollars. Of course, there are different prices depending on the type of fruit and such. Yeah, they all are made and every day, and uh, they all have the flowers for your loved ones. And am I missing anything? Let's see. Might be missing anything like, oh, the apples briefly <laughs> and mangoes. I showed uh, Marlene the other, the other night uh, some uh, mangoes growing here on Aruba. That is a, a three that does, but I do believe these are imported. I don't think these are the local mangoes. They, these are bigger and uh, the local mango is usually a little bit smaller. They do have... Guatemala. I'm sorry? From Guatemala. Oh, okay. from Guatemala. Okay, I see. <laughs> uh, so they do have also uh, an express lane. So they do have a few fast lane on uh, this side. And how many uh, cashiers? Like, like probably uh, 11 or 12. And uh, right now they're not all open because we are in the, in the morning time. So that means that, you know, uh, they are not uh, working at full staff. It's not too busy. Uh, if you want to come at a time where it's a little bit quieter, you know, come early, seven, eight, nine or so, come in the morning and uh, have some uh, breakfast, some uh, coffee, coffee <laughs> some sandwich perhaps, and then do your shopping and go back. Uh, that would be great. Guys, uh, I want to thank Marlene for uh, accompanying me to uh, with this nice uh, walk with and a very different walk also. And uh, I hope you liked it. In the meantime, give the video a like, subscribe, comment below what you thought of it. And maybe we can do more of these in the future. Nothing further. Anything <laughs> further to add? No. <laughs> so thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye, bye guys. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>